Welcome back to Book of Dawn, Ioth Academy, everybody. Tormented by Gnomes, your game master here. Joined once more after the break by Crowen, Leg Day, and Lemon Kiwi. When last we left our heroes, they were deep within Tarselmore's vault, which, as it turns out, is yet another freaking demiplane in this magical academy. This one is full of undead fiends, illicit research, and possibly old Tarselmore himself alive, or at least not dead after all these years. In communication with the Shadow Demon, Garnet has come across a couple of troubling pieces of information about the Serpent Infernal Zethius. And Zethius has a particular connotation in her mind to Renan. Renan has noticed this, and determining that Garnet is a sussy baka, he has cast a <laughs> suggestion upon her. What was your suggestion again? And could you post that in chat for us? Yes. That's reading. Here, here it is in chat, and I think the phrase was, I suggest you tell me what you've been hiding, and left it very open-ended in that regard. And also, okay, DM question, mm -hmm. in playing uh, D&D in the past, uh, I think it's always up for debate because it doesn't specify if the mm -hmm. person knows that suggestion has been cast or not so i i'm not sure there's like a voice and a there. material right yeah because i've always thought of it that like the mm -hmm. the sentence of like asking is basically like casting this spell mm -hmm. along with like material stuff but i'm up, up to you i don't know so how, how you want to rule it i would allow garnet an arcana check to determine that you were casting a spell can I have a perception check for, like, any material component? Because yes. I'm technically, like, between these two. Yes, you can have yeah. a, a perception check, and Garnet can have an Arcana check. Renan would I... be hands in pockets messing with, with, with components. <laughs> I don't see shit. And I will... <laughs> can't see shit. Can I use silvery barbs on that perception roll? <laughs> to make the perception roll worse? Yes. He already got a natural one. But it gives me advantage. Oh, you're you're eating his, I, his suffering. What's your character? Your character, you can't do this Damn. unless you know there's a reason for you oh, to be okay. casting silvery bars. Okay, okay, okay. There's well, no reason for you to arcana cast first. this unless you make this arcana check, which you did to detect that he is casting suggestion on you, which does allow you to use your reaction to cast silvery barbs to farm Athelor for clout, which will give you <laughs> advantage on your saving. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Sorry, pal. <laughs> the, the lawyers have arrived. <laughs> the lawyers have arrived. And it is objection. A, objection. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Mm -hmm. Roll Come with on. advantage. Please, this is the one roll. <laughs> Does a fifteen save? Fifteen is the DC. That means it saves. Yeah. Oh boy, you done just fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Face completely drops and is now very violently staring at Renan. And if Athlor is in the way, has proceeded to shoving him out of the way. <laughs> I'm gonna need to contest a strength check on that one. Just... <laughs> Give me that athletics. <laughs> Do I not get an advantage because he doesn't see the shit coming? I am much stronger. Than you. You're literally you got a zero perception. It's fine. I got a one strength. Uh, <laughs> now the one come back. <laughs> I think <laughs> normally, normally Renan with like flag on the play, flag on the play. But as aggressive as Garden's being, normally Renan would be like, ah, oh, kind of like meek about it and 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 backing off. But Renan's kind of frowns at it not working, but is like holding his ground, kind of as if like even if Athlor shoved out of the way, he wouldn't budge. Athlor was just kind of. Like Athel just like kind of tries to put his hands on her shoulders and she's like, <laughs> it's not visibly freaking out. Like, that's mm. more, I was more just trying to move you and is Garnet? very determined in doing so. It's not doing it in a comedic way. <laughs> we, we all, we all good? No, we are not. Why aren't we good? That's unfortunate. <laughs> this little fucker! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Renan, why is everything not okay? Is 
going to continue to try and move Athalor. <laughs> Athalor, uh... now that the shock is over, just like moves aside for her. Well, Garnet, that's a good question. And that's what I wanted to find out. You couldn't have asked me without casting the spell? Oh, short term memory, I guess I did. And you don't respect the fact that it's none of your fucking business? I thought it was kind of all of our business here, and we're doing things together that might get us killed. I, I think it, it might be. You drag people into danger just for your own benefit, nobody else's? That's really funny that you say that, actually. Mm-hmm. <sighs> We'll recall Una over. Do I have to roll a stealth for this? One more stealth, yeah. You want to throw any spice on that? You have one inspiration no. left from chat. Oh, this fucker ain't moving. Okay. A little spider who gives a fuck. <laughs> Come back! <laughs> Come back, I Spider! <laughs> I lost what? vision of Noir, though, but... Skulking about? What is that? What are you? Una receives Noir's... this, mentally. One to Una one, only them? to Una. Una makes... Make sure that Una does not respond, because spiders don't fucking talk. So. <laughs> it's a fucking spider. Staying bro. Back, just staying back. <laughs> You're lonely, bro. Get spider, over spider, 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 Webs spider. and eggs and shit. Webs and eggs and shit. Webs and eggs and shit. <laughs> web, 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 web. <laughs> Ooh, a fly. <laughs> I'm itsy bitsy. I'm going up a water spout. All right. Uh, you no longer have visual on noir. Just let me know what you want noir noir to do. Is Athelor doing anything, or are you going to let us argue? Uh, I, I'm letting you argue for now. <laughs> and then, what is your problem? <laughs> well, the curious ones always have the most to hide, I guess. I don't have to talk to you if I don't want to. Mm-hmm. And unless you want to get hurt, don't fucking cast spells on me ever again. <sighs> okay. The dungeon master slowly moves his mouse away from the initiative tracker. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'm, uh, Athol is gonna cast Mage Armor on himself. Mm hmm. So, knocking off a spell slot, and now I'm, I think, 13 armor class. Um, go, well, I heard enough about those runes. I'm gonna go take a look. And moves over to the door. Is, blocks Athelor's way. Oh. Ah. Uh, or not, Garnet. Just stares intently at Athelor and sends a message saying, Athelor, we're in danger, and we need to fucking leave. I bet there's some really rare books in there. Fine. Is that what he responds with? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that, that's the first part. And then just like, fine. Athelor, trust me, I've fucked with a lot of things, and if I'm willing to walk away from this one, this is way, way bad. Okay, well, I trust you. Promise. What about the uh, imprisoned? Is that someone else's problem or hours later? You should just report this to... Actually, we'll say this out loud at this point, so there's not this <laughs> weird silence. We'll just say... We'll kind of slowly close the door. I think we should report 
our findings to Master L now and probably leave this alone for now. And it's just very much looking more at Renan. Athel rolls his eyes and moves over to the desk and starts rifling through like any drawers. Is he just leaving me and Renan alone? <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> you, you, you have your your danger. I'm gonna grab the stuff that's pertinent to my family and see if there's any uh, other shit here. Okay. Uh, Renan's being unusually still, just kind of uh, gaze lingering on Garnet and not like smiling per se, but like a if five was like you know one to scale one to ten to five was like a neutral, like a five point five in terms of like. This slight, slight hint of a smile, but not really. If Athelor is out of earshot, we'll just whisper to Renan. Renan, how do you want to do this? Because I had proposed a deal, and you are infringing on it and really disrupting my patience. As someone who's not in a position to fuck with me. Oh, am I not? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know. Someone who knows a lot sure don't know really what I can do. By You'd be so more time. Just Can't. a few seconds more. <laughs> Is Adler still have detect thoughts up? I mean, I haven't cast anything else on his concentration. <laughs> Z, detect that? I forget. Did we have... I think Z... Was Zetheus encrypted last time we did this? I forget. Uh, I did a telepathic bond last time, actually. Oh, rather Zetheus than detect just thoughts. didn't talk to you. And he, and he just fucking... He went back into the hidey hole. Oh, yeah. He just went into That's the true. snake hole. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. I was just checking. Not a big deal. No, it's it's valid. It's valid. But Zetheus is a tricky, tricky, tricky slippery snake. <coughs> and I think he would know enough from traveling with Renan. Uh does Renan has Renan ever been exposed to Athelor's Detect Thought spell, or is he aware of it? Mm, aware of it, I think so. He probably knows Athelor is like I'm gonna, at least. No, I'm gonna call in an audible last. here. I know for sure he knows about it. I just realized I know 100% from a very reliable source that he knows. <laughs> okay. So he would have kept his slippery little mouth shut. Sure. Uh, Renan would have responded anyway by saying, uh, actually, like, <laughs> caught it. That's where you're unfortunately very wrong. I know everything about what you can do. Every spell, ability everything good so what are you gonna do kill me i'm the one who holds your secret kill you you're in the business of killing friends not me and just is completely appalled that you just said that and he's just very visibly getting angrier depending on if athelor cares about if he's looking this way at all uh, no, I, I'm investing my uh, my inspiration <laughs> on investigating all of the little nooks and crannies of this desk. Yeah, I I thought, like, I'm gonna let later. these two have their dramatic moment, and if need be, <laughs> I'll come and frag from the back later. I've got my mage armor on, baby. I'm ready. Athelor, you have found 70 gold, thanks to oh, chat, goody. adding a little a little treasure in there via stream loots, and a letter from your uncle. I'm taking all the correspondence on this desk possible. Okay, you're just stuffing it all in your pocket. It says, mm -hmm. T, we have arranged everything in accordance with your notes. We are agreed on the time and the celestial alignment. The experiment proceeds according to our agreed upon designs. I look forward to sending you the results. The date, on this letter, letter. the date on this letter from your uncle is shortly after all mention of your uncle was expunged from all records. 
shortly before oh. that. Okay. Athel will now look back over to the uh, the waiting PvP. <laughs> 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 oh, before he does as well, I'm gonna cast the dust, uh, the gust cantrip on all of the pixie corpses. Okay. Sparkly glitter swirls around the two as they face off against each other. <laughs> it stands like a step closer, you know, MMA style, where you're just like very, very close. Renan just doesn't like... back down. Kiss a homie. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you live in his shadow doesn't mean you'll ever be Alex. And instead of killing friends, you're the one that has an infernal that you're hiding from the rest of the group. Is this one Kevin... out? <laughs> well, it's out of earshot from you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Unless, uh, I don't know. How but you, Gnomes that's rules fine. That. If the two of you are intending for this to be out of earshot, then Athlor would need to approach very closely in order to hear it. Nah, nah, carry on. <laughs> I read it say, oh, now hiding things is bad. Sorry, didn't know there was a double standard there. There's a big difference between hiding a murderous serpent and what I'm hiding. Is the... Maybe uh, the quantity of yours catches up to it. Now, Garnet, I... We... Don't have to like each other here, get along. I've tried to be helpful. You ask me things I've tried to answer. You've provided me nothing. That's why I thought we could help each other. But now you're casting spells on me. Nothing that you saw worth it. Not to say I didn't try. You said you know about all these things. About Brontha, about uh, Merrick, about Mom. And I thought we were going to have uh, an agreement. I hide your stupid secret. And you were going to help me. But now you're turning on your friends. If you truly believe that I'm not trying to help you in all the things that you've asked, then so be it. I can't change your mind on that. There's a lot of gaps, a lot of questions that I hold for everything from being here to the things in my head to you all, Alex. The place that this even is, you have a lot more over me. A lot more knowledge, a lot more experience, a lot more everything. And I feel like I have to play the hardest game of catch-up that uh, anyone's ever had to. I... I'm sorry, Garnet. I just want to know things so I can catch up, and when I can't, it gets so frustrating. So when you hide things, and I've tried pretty much my best to help, it... I don't know. It just sucks. I am not hiding this from you, Renan. I'm hiding this from him. I can't trust you until you break away from the serpent who's just using you. And I need to protect the academy. And all the serpent wants is knowledge. It's all he's using you for. Is taking a step back from the uh, uh, aggressive stance after Brennan apologizes. (laughs) 
Do you know that? For a fact? Behold, an act of God. How much have I read about Zetheus from Infernal stuff? Because it wasn't most of his shit kind of burned or whatever. Uh, deliberately concealed and expunged? Yes. You know what would be a great place to find forbidden information about Infernals that has been deliberately scourged from the Academy? <laughs> Secret Vault. I think we did learn at some point that uh, the two companions were corrupted by Zetheus. Mm -hmm. One of them was replaced by a mirror clone, and the other one was corrupted by Zetheus, which forced Ioth to deal with him. What you know about the serpent is that Zetheus craves knowledge and craves to be the only one in possession of that knowledge. It is not enough to know things. One must be the only one who knows things to hoard that information. So the Academy's practice of sharing information and teaching is anathema to Zetheus. Is there other information that you would want? No, it probably just says that to uh, Brennan of, you know, explaining that Zetheus harmed, like, Isle's companions, and it's clearly a detriment to the school, and is willing to harm people who, like, know his secrets and stuff. It's essentially like, well, I'm in danger just for knowing your secret, and I have still kept it, Brennan. If that doesn't show you how I'm trying to come halfway here, I don't know what does. And although you think that me saying that I could kill you is a threat, that is just a fact. But the fact that is <laughs> I haven't yet. I haven't done anything, Brennan. You're the one who struck at me first when you're in no position to do that. Certainly done your research, haven't you? I But I think you and then Renan just like stops that train of thought and shakes his head. You're right. Where, where is your end of the bargain? Because I think I've been pretty fucking charitable that I just allowed you to speak to me that way and cast spells my direction. So, cough up all this information you seem to know about me and my life. Because your life currently is not beneficial to me. Garnet, yes. as those words leave your mouth, you can feel the power of the void, which normally comes from emptiness, leeching up through you following almost through your veins, through the adrenaline pumping through you, following those neurological paths, and gathering at your fingertips, ready to be used to lash out at a world that has wronged you. It has not yet done so, but it is right there. Is that what relationships are to you, Garnet? Benefits? Relationships are give and take, and currently you only take, not, from, not only from me, but from this party. And I'm wondering, what are you here to do? Because all I can see is you using my friends, using this academy for your knowledge mission, and then what, you're going to kill us all with your fucking serpent friend? Is this what your goal is, Renan? You are in the same room as I ask the questions of what is my purpose, Garnet. You know just as well as me, I don't know what that is. Maybe you have your suspicions, but... <coughs> the world spoke out and told me, you, everyone in that room. Well, it's not to save Alex, so can't be anything that good. Just rolls her eyes. And it's just trying to hold back whatever angry void magic is 
trying to unleash right now and is there notice any of that anything like happening or no um just around the edges it's almost as if the air the light in the room is seeping into her and darkening like the opposite of somebody casting light somebody <laughs> casting oh. a shadow that expands out in three dimensions very faint very, it's kind of barely noticeable it's kind of badass, but I don't want to admit that right now. So. <laughs> Are you lowering the ISO? <laughs> I think Renan just sits on that Alex remark and isn't saying anything. I would like to point out for our viewing audience at home that Athelor never stopped concentrating on detect thoughts. See. Tactics of uh, yeah, this conversation. He's still picking up surface <laughs> thoughts. He doesn't need to eavesdrop. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, I don't think either that's occurred to either of you. I don't, it didn't even occur to leg day. I had to be like, oh, just out of curiosity, is that still going on? Um, <laughs> the two of you are rather, rather focused at the moment, so I'm not going to, I'm just going to bring that up and then shut the hell up. Yeah, I, it's the time where I mean I can go through them now. I don't think Reddit will say anything unless Garnet is at the very moment. I mean, Probably the surface thoughts pressing. are the conversation for the most part. Oh, okay, okay. I, I mean, I guess Reddit would have some extra ones. Okay, feel free to throw them in. That, that need a that need a probe, and I think Athelor's uh not not okay. willing to probe right now. There's a there's a fair amount of information that's passing here, but needs uh computation. Sure, sure. Well. I think it's time you tell me all these, th this knowledge that you have of, of Mirik, my, my mother, you seem to just promise so many great things, yet haven't delivered on anything. You misunderstood. I know your abilities, not your backstory. Wasn't there like referencing our last conversation at the oh, end? That wasn't said, him talking. Or this, well, oh. No. That was, his mouth said those words. But Renan didn't. Okay. Well, then we'll say, uh, well, if you don't, Serpent does. So call him up. <laughs> I think you know that that's not going to work. Not that yeah. I don't want it to, but it's not my choice to make. Does he want me all upon him myself? Or does he want his secret to go out elsewhere and just vaguely gestures to the room in the vague direction that Athelor is in? Does of course, this? glittery as, as it happens. because <laughs> We can yeah. make this subtle or we cannot. What's the range of the check thoughts? 30 feet from me, I believe. Okay, carry on. Connie, you know I don't know much, but of course you know about them so is that what you really want to do I want him to tell me everything what was that what is what is he doing? ask oh does he say that out loud no that's only to run in And pause. And internally, are, are you sure? Ask. And 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 just just so we're clear, ask ask, ask what exactly? <laughs> Let the sh. Shadow Witch, ask her questions. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. Seem to have said some uh, some of the right things, so you can ask, and they'll answer, presumably. Uh, God, I'm trying to remember what he said last session. He said, Merrick 
He said he knew about Merrick, the mom. Forgot. And now we know that he's vibing with what? Castlemore. <laughs> Wait, what? You do? Oh, well, uh, like. But you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, tell me what I need to know about Merrick. You seem to have things to tell me about Merrick. You are simply the latest piece in a game of pillars he's been playing since the dawn. To be used, sacrificed, and discarded. You're welcome to just repeat that, Renan, or you can translate it. Your call. Uh, Renan would translate it. Renan would say... Merrick's been doing this for a long time, taking people and using them and sacrificing them and throwing them aside, and they say you're just another piece, the latest one, but just another one. This kind of gets choked up a bit. It's not like visibly teary-eyed, but it's just like biting her lip and just kind of getting mad and not... One of the magical candles at the table behind you goes out. Doesn't notice. In and reaction is... to your emotional response. I'm in danger. It just says, um, how do I find him? How do I unshroud him? How do I kill Merrick? You must lure him with the bait he seeks. You can find him in the silent city, standing before its gates. His prize is the book. Book of... Brennan translates again and would say... Uh, he's in the silent city well right before it at least he wants the book and you can lure him with that gets more mad of course he's fucking hiding other candle goes out he's hiding and he wants the book I'm not gonna give him what he wants that's all he does is take that's all you do is, is taken as kind of more gesturing at the serpent, not kind of making eye contact with Renan, but with his forehead. Like, <laughs> all you do is fucking take. And how do I get to the silent city? You have seen it before. Its secrets lie in the book of Seosh. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh god. Yeah, it would be Book of Seosh. I mean, we have one Spiral. of those. The isn't that the Void Book? Here. Mm -hmm. Smiling at this, it's like, oh good. So I will find him soon. And and my mom is she even? Is she even coming? Does she even care? Is she just destroying things because she's angry. Does she even want to find me at this point? She will spill a nation's blood to seek you out. She already has. Renna will word for word that one. It's like smiling more. Great. The All... candles come back. <laughs> I hope you're next, Zetheus. All in accordance with the design. We'll word for word that one. Just kidding, now pissed. I'm like, 
Oh, so you're working with him too, aren't you? <laughs> this is all part of some fucking plan. And I'm just a piece of it. Yes. I'm just a fucking tool yes. for, for you and Zalar <laughs> and everyone. Yes, you and your friends all placed years and years ago, set in motion. No choice, no agency, all pieces on the board. Brennan won't repeat any of the yeses, but will instead just say, God, and it looks like this is what our fate is. I think we'll uncontrollably shove Renan back with a Twilight Tendril. Cool. Kind of trip him up. Cool. Not meaning to do damage, just to... Or Renan, roll a strength check, out. please. Sure. Roll a strength saving throw. Um, uh, 16. Cool. Well, minus one, bloody hell. Cool. That was a, that was a decent roll. Um... Uh, Roll with disadvantage, Think please. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a 16. Oh, nice. Okay. It, it is Renan's, fate. Renan's uh, prepared. Renan's been very, like, on, on edge, but, like, f like willing himself to, like, stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with mm -hmm. Garnet and whatever she's, like, throwing out this whole time. So he's, he's ready for this. The coalesced void energy that has been gathering around Garnet flares, and when it deflects off of Renan, it turns into the harpsichord, which gives one last clambering noise and then falls into silence as it decays and rots into a shriveled pile. Its beautiful enameled surface peeling back as if thousands of years of time caught up with it in reaction to the accumulated power of Garnet. And the void. What do I get from the bard in the, in the detect thoughts? Does this happen? Does he die? <laughs> oh fuck, my piano! My cabbages! <laughs> oh shit, my half <laughs> cord, man! That was expensive! Oh, what do I do? <laughs> uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bing! And one last thing that she'll say as like, I'm guessing Renan doesn't budge. Renan would, Renan would turn to look at the decaying piano and gaze lingers on it before turning back, but doesn't seem to budge an expression. Such a waste. And it's now like holding her Zalar handed wrist and kind of down to hold back whatever is trying to come out and just kind of, but still steps forward up in his face and is like, you stand in my way. You will burn too. And it says it loud enough for Athelor to hear at this point. Renan, it's up to you whether or not you want to convey this piece of information. Athelor okay. is party to it. As the serpent whispers into your mind, despair never dies. Renan, would try to say that word for word as accurately as Zethius just said it. Just like after Garnet's kind of getting up his face. Despair never dies. Garnet. Zathalor interfering at all at this point as he's now heard shit. Uh, Athelor is still vaguely keeping the distance. Man, try not to PvP really hard right now. It's really hard. I feel bad for Ariana. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you do you. It's kind of like so angrily staring. Uh, does the eyes, does Renan's eyes change at all when Zethius talks? Is there any snake shit happening appearance wise? Renan is not channeling Zethius. 
Zethius is merely speaking to him. He has channeled him before when you called him the hell out. Uh, that being said, I like to think Renan can turn it on if he feels like it. Oh, I think for the last part, would definitely try to. Did he keep? Was it like eyes or what's? I imagine eyes, eyes would change. Do they go back to normal when he's not talking? I think after that statement would flicker back. Probably gets ready to like absolutely void your ass when you say that. And then as your eyes turn back to Renan's stops. And just <clears throat> thinks for a second and kind of looks down at the hand trying to like realize what's about to happen. And at this point, is this like all controllable magic at this point? Or is this like You uh you what? you got rid of a lot of it when you blew up the piano. That that helped. A lot of the, the, the pent up energy was was expunged. It's a reaccumulating, but the pressure is backed down temporarily. Although I imagine it would have spiked when he said that. I think at this point we'll probably uh shoot whatever void beam past Renan and Athalor probably at this back wall as like a, a very intended like here's like Renan's face here is my hand going past it and just beams down the wall past it as like a way of getting rid of that pressure but also as like a not a Flex is not the right word, but as uh, a slight flex. Oh. You very briefly see one of the imprisoned souls as it's devoured by the void. Illuminated for just a moment and then gone. <coughs> and like after the hands does the thing, puts it back down and takes a deep breath. Losing <sighs> eye contact with Renan. Well, despair never dies, but you only live once. Athelot opens this door. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to grab Athelor. <laughs> Is there a roll? You can do you can do athletics versus acrobatics or athletics if you want. Yes, could I sir. use could I use a twilight tendril to since I'm in void mode anyway to just grab his wrist? You could, yes. Uh, are you Not, just trying to like do a, a weight or are you trying to physically arrest him? Just stop him from moving. Okay. So you're like just a wrist grab and like a gang. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Athelor, you may either allow that gesture to go through. Uh, you will take no damage from this or you may make a strength saving throw. I'll see how the strength goes. Well, it, I don't know well. why you I'm had sure it. George's advantage. advantage, but it didn't matter either way because neither of those would have saved. <laughs> Is that not the danger that's past? There is things we cannot fuck with on the other side of that door, including Tarselmoor, and including a demon whose powers we don't even comprehend. I think we've already overstepped as it is. Athlor, don't make don't make this difficult. Who's there? I hear voices. Who is there? Echoes in all of your minds. Oh. Was the demon sealed? Tell us some more. We don't talk about. <sighs> I mean, if all we want to get out of this is... A little bit of an altercation between you two, I suppose we could go now. I'd love to see what they're keeping in there, though. Carsamor has dealings with beings outside of this school that we should not go poking around. Garnet, you broke into Tarsamor's vault. It's a little late for that. Well, 
I don't we think it. we should introduce ourselves. They don't know who we are. I'm gonna introduce myself. You're about to walk in there and do so. No, no, no. Why would I introduce myself? We know not to give our names away. <sighs> Does Renan care about doing anything here? Renan's still just staring at Garnet, trying to. I feel like at this point, might be able to tell that Renan's like slightly like straining himself to remain composed in the same way that he has been for the past several minutes, but is trying not to falter, not saying anything, hey, what staring did, at Garnet. What did Renan say, or what did Athlor say at the start? Fucking Despair never dies, but you only live once. So that's a very big week <laughs> that he's been listening the whole time, right? <laughs> to be and fair, that one was said when he was here, as opposed to when he was over here. So it was a lot closer in terms of earshot during that. Oh. And the the only other clues that like you guys have had an altercation, I just watched you beam past him and uh, kill a random soul over here. Kind of let's go of Athlor. You know what? If we all want to take out our anger on something, why don't we kill the fucking demon? Someone who actually deserves it for once. So let's go, Athlor. Go in first. I'm, I'm done being smart about this. Let's just fucking go. I don't plan on really engaging at all. Athelor walks up to the door, and when he opens it, Gnomes, I want a performance check to look unfazed by the demon. Okay, roll performance check. Send it. That's going to be a lucky die. <laughs> oh, you shit your pants immediately on arrival. Let's <laughs> oh. try shall we? Okay, and I'll add, my, uh, I'll add my theater die to this. I forgot about this. 22. <laughs> All right, a dirty 22. Let's go. Let's go. I thought just kind of like gives a sup nod and literally just tries to walk past him up to this desk. The demon lashes towards you as you pass, bouncing off the invisible walls of the hexagon at the heart of the circle. Just looks at it like, Mortal students! The door, is it open? Athol literally doesn't answer at all and is looking through his papers. Speak to me, wretch! <laughs> I will shred your soul! Does Garnet follow or is still stay in this room? Kind of just sees how Renan's reacting and it's just like so pissed that Athelor just kept going. Renan's still doing the same thing, just staring at, at Garnet. And trying to remain composed. Oh, come on, Renan. Let's go. Let's go kill something. Because that's what fucking infernal puppet fucking pillar pieces do, huh? Let's go be a fucking tool, <laughs> Renan. The tool is walking. I'm fucking let's go kill something because that's what I do. Right, Renan? And just is angrily walking into the room. <laughs> as soon as Garnet steps into the other room, he almost like collapses and like tries to just like, oh my god, oh don't. <sighs> okay, deep breaths. The, the second that Athel, the Garnet comes in, Athel turns around and says, like, oh, Lucy. It's just like, so pissed at Athlor and now feels like he just called her the wrong name and it's just like <laughs> seething, like fucking visibly shaking <laughs> in your direction. You see some of the light glowing from the lines of the runes on the floor start to flicker and fade as if they're, they're just, there's no fire there, right? It's just glowing magical energy. And yet it gives you the same impression as a candle in a breeze flickering towards Garnet, like the shadows... Eating towards it. Athelor, at the desk, a variety of notes, uh, scrolls, tomes, arcane runes. Uh, there's books of necromantic lore, things recorded from listening to summoned demons, conversations written in abyssal and infernal with various summoned fiends. 
Uh, there is a treatise on abyssal runes there as well. A whole book on this subject. Ooh, yoinkies. <laughs> roll, an, aside from yoinkies, add that to your inventory. Roll a arcana check for me. Uh, bam. A 14. Okay. And you read Infernal, right? I do. Okay. As you're going through this, you see calculations on the amount of vital energy and spiritual energy contained in different life forms based on when it is harvested. Ooh. The youth have a lot more potential energy. Uh, their souls are most replicable to dawn energy not as malleable because it's already bound in a, some sort of form but it is the most equivalent the elderly have a cue as as you live your life the memories the burdens the emotions that you experience absorb more mental energy and so the timber of a given soul homber homber how is it pronounced anyways the tone of if you're english yes thank you that changes over time from raw potential energy in in young subjects to a lot more psychic energy in older subjects. But of course, when we're able to, the extraction process causes some loss due to the violent transition, but a agreeable exchange with Imago allows for a much higher rate of conversion. I see. There's also a anything bunch of... else worth noting on the desk? Yeah, they're rolling an investigation check. Looting. <coughs> Fourteen. Fourteens for days. You have found two scrolls written in a shimmering metallic paint. Ooh. These are mirror magic. Ooh. One of the scrolls is a very complex second circle magic, stuff you haven't even begun to touch. You haven't even reached the end of first circle magic. This is second circle magic. It is a spell called Mirror Trap. It traps somebody in a mirror. Oh, we know that one. <laughs> and the other one is Mirror Walk, which allows you to use mirrors as portals in a short distance. These are all things learned from speaking with summoned reflections, and demons. Hmm. Uh, that's most of what the investigation check yields from the desk, right? Uh, that and it sounds like... Uh, I'm going to give everyone else, if you're willing to... How long are you willing to sit and read? Uh, what, what? I, I thought I was like, was looking through it until Garnet slash Lucy came mm -hmm. through in his little play. <laughs> okay, if you have more time to peruse these documents i may give you additional information but for now i'm going to turn the stage as garnet enters the room and the shadow demon looks towards you and the light from its cage flows towards you it pauses hello puppet just stands across from it and is going to drop necrotic shroud okay <laughs> Your eyes go into pools of darkness and skeletal wings, uh, spectral skeletal wings sprite from, spring from your back. Not wanting to look at that, I return to reading. <laughs> Does he get, is he immune to frightened? Just there's a frightened thing, but up to him. Yeah, I'll roll it. Let's, let's see if he's immune to frightened. Conditions. Nope, that's not on there. Is that a wisdom save? A charisma, charisma save. I believe. Charisma. Eight. I ain't gonna cut it. You see it recoil away from you to the back of its cage. You answer to me now. Tell me everything Tarsal Moore has asked you or you die. What are you? 
I ask the questions. What is Tarsalmore asking you? The creatures who dwelt in the Dawn World when we first came to consume it and make it our own? He wanted to know their nature. Their souls were different. They survived the coward Ioth, the wretch Gelgeis, all those who fled Luminius when it burned and escaped our talons. They took new shapes. He wanted to know everything about them and their souls. What has he found? He has found a way to escape death, but true life still evades him. Escaping death how? <laughs> He's hidden his soul away in a little box, and though his bones may rot, he still does not die. Looks back at the door behind her and back to him. And What else do I need to know? That depends on who and what you are. It's going to start summoning twilight tendrils that are going to grab each of his appendages and just start stretching and stretching. Basically trying to dismember him. But not fully at this point, but in a torture mode. Wait, wait! His library is in the southeast of this vault. His sepulcher is at the northernmost point. He has a shrine dedicated where he brought his first creation to life in the east. First creation, is that Sig or something else? I don't know what he called it, but he made it from fleshy mortal corpse pieces. He's going to take a Twilight Tendril and, as he's talking, take his tongue and say, Are you telling me everything I need to know? I know the secrets of the wounds I can teach you. <laughs> Let's go of the tongue. <laughs> secrets, of, secrets of the runes? Yes. What runes? The abyss. Chaos. I know their powers. Yes, what? milady, that would be the book I found over here. <sighs> Tarsal Moore's notes. So everything I need to know are in those notes over there? You think I told that mortal fool everything? No. He's gonna start pulling harder. Uh, tell me everything. The serpent has a plan. And with that, takes the tongue and rips it out. <laughs> Well, you're done talking for now. Looks over at Athalor. Are you done? I am, thank you, milady. Athalor just like gathers up as much as he can physically carry from his desk. Add that to your inventory too, because when you go through those, I'm gonna need to reference this point. Tarsomore's uh more demon stuff. Interviews with a demon pyre. <laughs> And then we'll start to rip apart his arms and legs from his torso. <laughs> okay. Um, However you want me to roll that. <laughs> okay. are, are, are you killing it? Dismembering, you know, let's see what happens. <laughs> just leave a little, like, demon nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Is just taking out a lot of anger on this poor fucker right now. Okay. As your shadows tear apart the shadow demon, it begins to discorporate, almost billowing like a cloud of smoke to fill 
the sides of this invisible hexagon, the sides of which become more and more apparent as more and more of this demon loses its ephemeral shape, turning into nothing but cloying clouds of darkness. It gets harder and harder to find a place to grab, but darkness seeks darkness, and the twilight tendrils can do the job, finding new places, new strands to pull at as you unravel this imprisoned creature bit by bit. Renan walks into the room right as this is like <laughs> mid process, finally like get, fights get, again. Get, <laughs> gets themselves under control and walks into the room and it's like, oh, okay. And <laughs> very quietly at the doorway. It's like a Homer Simpson's like goes back into the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's mental anguish fills the room. A howling, throatless scream that only the shadow of a demon long since dead can emanate. A sound that will stay with you for a long time. Garnet, are you going to go until that sound is silenced? Yeah. I'm just going to keep <laughs> yeah. ripping shit up and watching. Probably hasn't even looked at Renit at all. Is very focused on her work. <laughs> And when at last it no longer is anything, the boundary keeping it sealed in seems to fail. For it is only designed to hold in a demon, and whatever this is, it's no longer a demon. Just an evaporating, shadowy residue that leaks down into the engraved magic like a slick of oil extinguishing the light of the magic circle. I would say that is time to leave, my lady. Kind of nods back to the door behind her. Well, don't you want to say hello to Tarselmore? Not particularly. I have no intention of saying hello to that thing. Because I don't think he's inside of a ceiling rune. It's over to Renan. How about you? Let's follow your lead. Oh, I'm really curious to know what you want to say to Tarselmore. I, I don't. Really? Are you sure? I don't really know who this person is. So, I mean, beyond the things that we've talked about recently. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. You consulted and you've thought about it? Okay. Then I guess our work here is done. Just very merrily. Walking down the hallway, <laughs> Brennan doesn't say anything. I'd like to imagine a tendrils like scraping at the hallway as they go. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think Brennan would, uh, before like walking back, would look because there's the the other door where we know that Tarsmore is, right? I kind of gestured at what the door was. Yeah, Tarsmore. I think Brennan would look that way and kind of just like. Uh, question mark emo in his head being like <laughs> is this do we question mark but if nothing happens then would we'll... silence yeah satisfied we'll just... silence <laughs> we'll just kind of leave it where it was then and if people are motioning to exit then would we'll also exit Oh, wow, Thalor, since you like books so much, there's a there's a library in the southeast. Since we're being so nosy anyway, as well. I mean, I'm not sure why you're going to call me nosy. You literally went in there and discovered that before I did. I didn't go rummaging through the notes now. Come Do you on. feel better having killed it as well? I'm sure it did deserve it after all. Are you saying that in like a sassy tone or are you? No, he's like, are you sure you should have killed it? And like, hmm, it did deserve it. Is hasn't like kept the same smile throughout dismembering it to talking to you, and it says, Yes, I, I do feel just so much better now. 
So uh, library? Uh yes. They said southeast. No, that would be across the way. I think that before we go any further, we should check outside and see if anyone has noted our intrusions. Good idea. Is and if there's nothing further. It'd be sense Una to just do a quick scout and report back. Is that you want to send Una out? It's like a browser and what the fastest form being Raven or something mm -hmm. and just a little skedaddle in the pool room, look around, mm -hmm. come back quick. Nobody in the pool room, though there does seem to be a piece of parchment on the floor. Roughly here. That wasn't here the last time you passed through this room. Yes, Una goes and picks it up. It's a note. It they... says you smell. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Una reads it. I think they know common and shit. Yes. Uh, hang on. I have to pull up that particular section. Basically, he's like, is this useful? <laughs> what is, is this garbage? <laughs> this is, yeah, this is worthless. It is a page written in Tarselmore's hand. Schematics received from the mechanical messenger. Engines fueled by soul stuff. A calculation for a date hundreds of years from now. Foresight is a virtue. This Una brings it back and I read it and... There's a date it on over it. To Today. Showing it to Athelor. That's foreboding. Is the ink dry? This is very old. Crumbling. Okay. That's... Uh, well, I'm predicting something happening today. And... Um... That's concerning. It's the mechanical... Is it mechanical engineer? Is that what it said? Mechanical messenger. Do you think that's a reference to... Anachronos or something? As soon as he tries to say the word, slaps his what? mouth shut. <laughs> uh, Athelor, roll 1d100 for me, please. <laughs> what? I can't even save that? Uh, yeah, we'll reduce the normal percentage bands by a little bit for you, for your, for your action there. The die of a beast. Uh, Gar Garnet. Apropos of absolutely nothing, roll like um like a dexterity saving throw for me. <laughs> for for hand clappage speed. Oh, I'm gonna no. lucky dice it. I'm okay. lucky yeah, dicing let's, let's, my let's, last let's, lucky dice. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, any inspiration? The design is inexorable. The design is inexorable. So no inspos. <laughs> Ooh. There's one left that you haven't used from chat. <laughs> All right. Using it. Right. A 14. Aww. Don't awe me, okay? We, we, <laughs> can't we deal you with know. one fucker at a time? Not gonna... <laughs> the design, the design. You know, I was reading for the design. <laughs> Slowly releases. Don't them. say his name. Yes. Yeah, them. I'm thinking that too. Can we go look at the library now? I mean, yeah, um, we stopped to have a look at that paper. I don't mean to be that guy, but you did have a disadvantage also in chat. Okay, the design, the design. <laughs> which is now expunged. Uh, as far as you can tell, nothing happens. <laughs> um, that design, so he, eh? So he gets out the whole anachronist before I do the hand thing? Anachronist! So most of it. The yeah, sound of the to... slap onto his mouth makes it so you can't tell if you got it in time or if it was just louder than the S. Two-thirds of him is paying attention. 
just hurry and go through the library so we can figure out this note. We need to go and report this ASAP or not. Yeah, agree. Let's go. And <laughs> tries to give the pools a wide berth. Okay. Go ahead and feel free to move yourselves all the way across the uh, room into the library, which is on the other side. Oh. Uh, this? Oh. Uh, oh, hello. A thing. Uh, like, are these walls here? That's the back of a bookshelf. Oh. Wait, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, that thing that? up in the corner? Yeah, yes. what the fuck is that? The humming of servos, ticking of gears, and petite discharges of steam alert you to the presence of this library's diminutive custodian. Uh, it is a mechanical contraption consisting of two spindly legs, a pot-shaped sealed container with a handle on it, and a mechanical armature on the top of which seems to be a real eye. It is it. moving around in the back here, and as it does, books, notes, and parchment are floating near it. Has Renan been with us or no? Yep. Oh, okay. Renan's following along. Not saying much, but observing everything very uh, acutely. Does he? Is the robot looking at us? Its eye turns to look at you, and as it does, it continues to put books back on the shelf. They're just floating in its near vicinity. He seems friendly. I mean, it hasn't attacked us yet, and if it's putting books out, someone's coming regularly to check them out? You have failed to comply with our previous terms of agreement. Who's that? Uh, the tiny little robot speaks with a very, <laughs> very large voice. Is that to all of us or just to... Uh... That's, that's to all of you. Is that... Why does that sound so much like an acronym? We have discovered a new vector through which variables will be eliminated. All will be brought in accordance with the design. And we'll find out what happens next time on Book of Dawn <laughs> IOP Academy, folks. Thank you so much for joining us. We have had an absolute delight uh, on behalf of myself and my talented cast. We bid you adieu.